Hello, members. Welcome to Tom vs. Song. What's up, UC family? Uh, Josh and Tom bringing you another episode of Tom vs. Song. Um, again, if you didn't see last video, Tom went into our cellar, picked a red and a white. Um, he knows what it is. I don't know what it is. He's going to try to stump me. All right. So this week I went down and I picked out two of uh, some fan favorites. And we're going to see what Josh can come up with. Again, we are using the deductive tasting format, which you can find in a link below. Um, and you can follow along with us as we go through these wines. So without further ado... Let's get after it. All right, let's go. Excited. So, first wine. Do uh, you want to always hold it over a white piece of paper or something white? Um, this is a clear wine. It is medium concentrated. Uh, color is kind of gold. Um, maybe a little copper tinge. Uh, secondary colors. It's kind of like that copper I was mentioning. Um, rim variation, no. Uh, extract and staining there's no staining this is a white wine they're not usually not usually staining in white wines uh, tearing though again we're gonna be swirling the glass around watching as the um, kind of like the legs form how fast they form it's an indication of uh, alcohol um, sometimes it's an indication that they there's a little bit of residual sugar um, this one Fast forming, slow falling. Um, so I will say medium tearing, gas evidence. There's no gas evidence in this wine. None. None. Now on to the nose. Mmm. It's a nice smelling wine. I can't wait to taste that. It's a clean wine. Um, intensity is powerful. It is jumping out of the glass into my nose. I can almost smell it from here. Um, age assessment, I would say youthful. Um, Onto the fruit, I'm getting a lot of lime, a lot of kind of creamy lime, um, ripe lime, uh, ripe grapefruit, leading back to why we assessed it as a youthful wine. Not a lot of fruit on outside of citrus fruit for me. Um, fruit character, like I said, is ripe, non-fruit. A lot of a lot of like vegetal smells here. Um, grass, getting a little bit of that pyrazinic pure, uh, character um, with a little green bell pepper, jalapeno pepper. Um, earth, not a lot on the earth standpoint. A lot of mineral though. Um, call it almost chalky. Wood, uh, I don't get any sense that there was any wood aging here. Um, there's no, no spice, no um, uh, warming spices, baking spices. I'm not getting much of that. I don't think this saw much wood. All right, on to the palate. Again, I'm drawing in air to kind of like aerate the wine in my mouth. So it may be silly, it may feel silly to do, but it is helpful. Uh, sweetness, this is a off dry wine. You go anywhere from bone dry, dry, off dry, and into the sweets. Uh, it's not a completely dry wine, but a little off dry. Again, a lot of citrus, still getting that lime and that grapefruit. Um, might say a little bit of melon um, that I didn't get on the nose. Non-fruit, still getting those vegetal notes. A little bit of green bell pepper, a um, little bit of uh, lemongrass, not lemongrass, maybe just grass. Um, but very good wine. Um, earth, still not a lot there. Mineral, mineral character, this is a uh, minerally driven wine. It's kind of the dominant feature. Um, kind of chalky salinity. Um, wood, still not feeling like I saw any oak and it's aging. Uh, onto the palate, part two, where we talk about structure. Um, phenolics or bitterness, I uh, don't get a lot of that in this wine. Like I said, it's an off dry wine. Um, 
Acid is high. I'd say medium plus to high. I, I might just leave it at medium plus. Uh, alcohol is, there's some alcohol in there. Um, it's not the dominant feature, but I would say medium minus, medium alcohol in this. Body is light. Uh, texture is lean. Balance, um, like I said, I think acidity is the dominant feature here. There is some alcohol, um, but the acid is really what's left in your mouth. Uh, length, I would go with medium plus. This is a nice kind of complex wine. So now we go to our initial grape conclusion. Our initial conclusion where we talk about what grapes this could be. Uh, possible grapes, um, Sauvignon Blanc is one that uh, it could be. Albarino, um, Tarantes, uh, these are all kind of aromatic light wines that kind of fall under what this could be. Um, old world, new world, I've got a lot of minerals here. There is some fruit, but minerally driven wine. So I'm gonna go with Old World. If it's a fruit forward wine, then you might say that it could be New World. Uh, climate is cool. Um, possible countries would be France, Spain, um, or if it were a Tarantes, it could be Argentina. Um, and the age range, let's say, like I said, it's youthful wine, one to three years. So, final conclusion, this is where I just have to go for it. Oh, and, excited! Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yeah, just go with your gut, go with your theory. Um, think back to all the descriptors that you, you were using. Um, so, great variety. I believe this is a Sauvignon Blanc. Um, country of origin. Uh, if it's old world, then it's not going to be New Zealand or USA. So, you're probably looking at France. Um, where it could be the Appalachian or region, could be Bordeaux, it could be uh, somewhere from the Loire Valley. Um, Bordeaux, typically they will age it in uh, a little bit of wood. You'll see a, a little bit and they often blend it with Simeon. Um, so it's more of a full bodied uh, wine. This is definitely light and kind of got the zippy acidity. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Loire Valley. This could either be Sancerre or Puy Fume. Um, Puy Fume typically is a little bit more round, uh, a little more full body, not as much as Bordeaux, but um, it doesn't have the, the acidity is not so far from the body. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Sancerre. Um, quality, we don't go with anything here. Vintage, uh, I said one to three years. So I'm gonna go with 18, 2018. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the big reveal. We have a winner. Nice. We have, if we can see there, it is in fact a Sauvignon Blanc from France, from Loire Valley. It is a Sancerre, and it is a youthful wine. He guessed 2018, it is in fact a 2017. So he is right there, let's see, that's a, that, that counts. Horseshoes, hand grenades, and Sancerre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Sauvignon Blanc um, from Sancerre. If you're doing a blind tasting and someone gives you a Sauvignon Blanc, uh, it's pretty, I mean, there are some, like I said, Torontes, Albarinos are also uh, very, um, you know, aromatically intense. Uh, Albarino uh, is a little bit more floral. Well, Torontes is very floral. Albarino has um, a lot of vegetal notes as well, but uh, this... From the acidity, I could tell that um, Sauvignon Blanc. So when you get a Sauvignon Blanc in a blind tasting, you're just like, yeah, this is, I got this. Yeah, he makes it sound so easy. Well, in fact, this is not. So he's he don't sell. He's not selling himself short here. So well, we got a winner for the white. So awesome. So let's uh, move on to the red. Let's see what we got. Um, this is a clear wine. Concentration is uh, medium. Um, it is a red, it's a kind of like garnet color, uh, especially on the outside. It's kind of ruby on the mid middle and then gets into a little bit garnet on the rim. Um, rim variation, there is a little bit, meaning it could um, be a, an older wine. Um, we're gonna look at staining. Now again, this is something you don't really look at in white wines, but we are gonna look at in the red wine. Um, and staining, 
usually means that it's seen some, some heat when it's, uh, the grapes are on the vine. So you think of your like hotter climates. Um, I don't see a lot of standing on this wine. Uh, tearing is pretty fast forming, pretty fast falling. Uh, so this is a light tearing wine. Gas evidence is no. Now we're going on to the nose. Mm. That is a nice wine. I can't wait to taste it. Um, it's a clean wine. I don't see any uh, faults in this wine like cork, TCA, or Britannomyces. Um, so this is a clean wine. It's in good spirits. Um, intensity is moderate. Age assessment is developing. Uh, fruit. Getting some red fruit, red fruit dominant, um, cherries, raspberries, uh, red cherries, a little bit of black fruit, but um, this is a red fruit dominant wine. Those cherries are um, pretty ripe, pretty lively. You are getting a little bit desiccated though. Um, so I do think this is an older wine, but I'm not gonna jump to conclusions. Uh, Non-fruit, getting a little herbal uh, notes. Kind of like a light, kind of like clove. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Earth, I'm, I might say a potting soil, but I, I don't think that that's an important factor here. Um, mineral. Maybe a little whetstone. Wood, I think this has seen a little bit of oak. Um, I'm not gonna say fully new oaked, but it's definitely like most red wines. I've seen some oak. Um, onto the palate. <clears throat> okay. This is a bone dry wine. Uh, there's no, no, no sugar there. Um, fruit again is red fruit dominant. Um, a lot of cherry, uh, red cherry, black cherry, a um, little bit of raspberry, definitely aged, older, uh, desiccated, dried fruit on the palate compared to the nose. Still getting some the dried herbs um, and that clove kind of cinnamon spice, meaning probably saw some oak. The earth. A little more earth components than I picked up on the nose. Um, not sure how to describe it, but it's there. Uh, mineral, again, whetstone, wood, uh, yes. And we're going on to the, the structure now. So high tannin, um, medium, medium plus acid, say medium. Alcohol is medium plus, it's a big wine. Um, Body, it's going to go medium. It's not, it's not light, but it's not full body. It does have the alcohol, but um, it's right in between, right in medium. Texture is lean. Does any element dominate? I would say the tannins. Um, this, this wine needs some food. Um, finish is long. It's still kind of there on my palate and uh, evolving as we go, complexity is medium plus. This is a fun wine. Possible grape varieties. Um, Sangiovese, Nebbiolo, um, could be a Cab, could be a Tempranillo, all in those kind of like big, uh, big wines. Um, old world, new world, I think this is an old world wine. Uh, climate is Moderate to warm, I'm gonna say moderate. Uh, possible countries, well, if we're looking at Nebbiolo, 
for Sangiovese, you're looking at um, Italy. Uh, Tempranillo would be Spain. Um, and then Cab, probably be France if we were going there. <clears throat> Age range, this is an older wine, I believe. I would say five to 10 years uh, age on this wine. <sighs> this is a little bit harder. This is a little bit harder than the, um, the white wine. Okay, but I have to just go with it. Testing your knowledge. Yeah. Um, that instinct. Great variety, and I think I'm gonna go with my gut. I did say Sangiovese first, but with all that um, alcohol, tannin, acid, uh, I'm gonna go with Nebbiolo. I might be shooting myself in the foot with this, because um, I didn't say that it, Nebbiolo is typically uh, full everything, full acid, high acid, um, high alcohol, high everything. And I, I went a little bit lighter on the acid and the, the alcohol, but I'm going with Italy, or I'm going with Nebbiolo, which means country of origin would be Italy, uh, region, appellation would be either Barolo or Barbaresco. Um, you know, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm, because I said the lighter um, uh, components in the palette on the structure, I'm gonna lean towards Barbaresco with this one. Um, so, uh, lastly, I said it's pretty old, so I'm gonna guess um, 2011, 2012. Let's just stick it with 2012. All right. Josh has made his selection. Nebbiola from Italy at Barbaresco, 2012. We have Nebbiolo. Oh. From Italy. It is a Barolo, however. Yeah. At, and the, he guessed the older vintage, and he's Again, right there in the wheelhouse of 2011. He guessed 2012. So there we have. We'll give it a we'll give it a B A minus on this one. A minus. Right on. That is a good wine. Um, I am one year older on each of my vintages, which means well, I just had recently had a birthday, so that makes sense. Um, great wines. We have plenty of these. Uh, plenty of options for Sanceres or Sauvignon Blancs if you're interested. Plenty of options for Nebbiolos uh, in both Barolo and Barbaresco. Um, great wines. It'd be great with some uh, pizza or um, some sort of like red sauce pasta. Um, and then a nice kind of light salad or some fish dish with the Sancerre. Um I like to say with Sauvignon Blanc, imagine if you have some sort of, if you have a light dish like fish or chicken that you are uh, spritzing a lemon over it. Um, with Chardonnay, it might be more of like putting a pat of butter on your rockfish or something. Um, so whatever you're going for, then those are some tips. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please follow or subscribe to UCTV um, on YouTube to help us out and cheers. Please join us next time for, for another edition of Tom versus Tom. Cheers again.